If you've been using emulators to play Android games on your PC, it's time to stop because Google has finally released the stable build of Google Play Games for Windows. When it first launched back in 2022, it was only in beta and honestly pretty limited. But now it's officially out, and the library has grown massively to over 200,000 titles. In this video, we're going to test it out and see if it's actually good enough to replace the emulators we've all been using. So without further ado, let's zoom in. Now, if you search for Google Play Games, you'll land on this official website. And right here, it says Get Started on PC, which basically means you can run it directly on Windows without installing any third-party app. The setup is only a couple of megabytes, so it won't take much time to download. The installation itself is super easy, but there's one small downside. You still can't change its location. It'll automatically install on your C drive which can be a little frustrating if you like to keep that drive clean. Now, while it's installing, let me make you aware of a common network error some of you may face. To fix it, open the Start menu and search for Services. From this list, select any service, press G on your keyboard, and look for Google Play Games Service. Right-click it, go to Properties, and start the service manually. This will definitely fix your problem. So the installation is complete. When you launch it for the first time, it'll ask you to sign in with your Google account. I've already done that, so I'm straight in. Now, there are a bunch of titles here, but still some popular ones like PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile are missing. And just so you know, there are no apps here either. It's strictly meant for games only. Guys, here's something interesting. There's actually a PC game in the list too, called Delta Force. I don't know why it's here, but what's even crazier is the size, which is around 50 gigabytes. And remember, all of this installs directly into your C drive. Anyway, I installed a couple of games just to test it out. First, let's check out Clash of Clans, which is honestly one of my favorite games. Now guys, this is my old account, and I haven't opened it in over a year so it's kind of nostalgic jumping back in from a PC. The game runs pretty easily, and I think that's because it's not too heavy. All right, let's close this and move on to Asphalt Legends. This one is obviously much heavier compared to Clash, and it's a proper test for performance. So, the gameplay is super solid. I am not experiencing any kind of lag, and the graphics look really good on a bigger screen. This is exactly the kind of experience you'd expect when running Android games natively on PC, without needing any emulator. When it comes to settings, you get this bar on the left where you can control things like resolution, FPS, and a few other tweaks. There's also a key mapping option, but custom key mapping is only available for some games. And that's pretty much it for customization right now. If you ask my honest opinion, Google Play Games for Windows is actually pretty impressive. It feels great to finally have an official option instead of relying on third-party emulators. There are still some limitations, but even with those downsides, this feels like a solid start. I'd recommend it only if the games you play are already available here. Otherwise, it's probably not for you. And that's it, guys, for this video. If it helped you out, make sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Take care, and bye.